Kicks Country Brecky Show and passing through town at the moment is uh, is Eight Ball Lake and he's got some shows coming up uh, tonight locally in Bundaberg and plenty of other shows. He's a man that's always on the road, he never stops and he's with you now. G'day mate, how are you? Hey, one notch above magnificent, two notches above <laughs> sensational. Glad it's to be been, back at Kicks. It's been a little while since uh, since we last had a chat. I think um, it was probably a, a gimpy or two ago. Yeah, yeah like. I remember that. There's a photo of you still. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. They all mould into one, so don't ask me which one. Because um, I remember seeing you late one night at a Gimpy too. It was, uh, it was Dan Biddle there, and I remember thinking, we had a conversation, I thought, I am way too tired for this, I need to go home. <laughs> but uh, That's what the alcohol's for at Gimpy, you know, you keep kicking on. <laughs> I get a <laughs> night off and I go, yeah, yeah buddy! <laughs> yeah, well that's where you get to see all your friends too, you know. Exactly, yeah. I think that's what I, what I love about festivals. And you must be, you know, when you get the opportunity <coughs> to play a festival, you get to mm. catch up with people you haven't seen for bloody ages. Yeah, it's a music community and a music scene when you see your mates and you get to hear them play and play your set. And I love that sort of thing. Just You get time to stop. Because we all spend so much time on our screens and computers and stuff today that uh, you never have as much fun with a computer as you do with a your friends yeah exactly and you know musically even you, you spend a lot of time playing your own shows and traveling all over the place so particularly with yourself you go all over the country and all over the world so yeah so you make a lot of mates along the way and uh, you know festivals are just the best time to, to spend quality time with people are you still basing yourself out of the US and Australia yep yeah I'm on the road over there and a lot and here as well and it's seasonal because you know it's always cool that America's winter when it the place gets really quiet there's not as many gigs on that's the Aussie summer and we're pumping down here and I've, next year I've got a big tour of supporting Hayseed Dixie in uh, England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales they play big theatres over there and they, uh, they saw me play at the muster and invited me to tour so it's really going to be fun there's a bunch of nice fellas and I've known Tim the banjo player for a lot of years living in Nashville played on different gigs with him and yeah, so I can't wait to get over there and spend a bunch of time in, in all those places. I've played in England before, but I've never really had, had an extensive tour like the one we're about to do. Is that something you'd like to maybe get onto the, the mainland, Europe and that, and hit a few more countries that you haven't been to? Yeah, I've, been, I've played a lot of Scandinavian shows in Germany, Poland, France, like the sort of middle and northern part, but I've never played Spain and Italy and there's other countries. There's, the more countries you go to, the more countries you want to go to, and the more you find out, and people tell you about their travels. So, pretty lucky with music that we get to do it. You know, it's a, it's a privilege to have a guitar and travel around. Is there a bucket list place or bucket list event or festival that you'd love to do one year? Oh, bucket list. You know, I know I'd made it once I play at Red Rocks. You know, I've always thought that's one of the coolest venues up there in Colorado, you know, the big Red Rocks. Yeah, you know. nice. I watch nice. all the shows from Red Rocks on the internet. And I think <laughs> Red Rocks, you know. Yeah, well, as you just say, you can have as much fun as you can on the internet, but there are some good things because you can watch these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, you know how it is, is like, you're, every day you get to do what you love, you just totally win it, and it's such a blessing. And whatever country you're in or whatever town you're in, that's my favourite town at the time, you know, that's what you love, wherever your feet are planted on the ground and whoever you're with. Do you ever get the stage where you're like, you're the classic rock and roll thing? Hello, St. Louis, and you're in like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. That's kind of uh, yeah. <laughs> Once you get there, you got you've been doing it too long. I think you, people can tell if you're talking from the heart or, or not. And yeah, if you get the town wrong, man, you really you're in a you're, you're in a bit of trouble. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly doing with what we do. I think if you're. Uh, a classic rock and roll of if, if um, I don't know, Mick Jagger forgets the name of the town, you throw the guy, yeah, he's Maybe I should start doing it on purpose for a whole tour. <laughs> That'd be cool. And what you do, you just find out like the rival town, yeah. uh, and call, say it's that one, and yeah. see the response. You never know. Um, but mate, you're still making your own guitars and things like that. You used to do a little, or you used to play a lot of that, didn't you? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I love homemade guitars, and on this tour, it's out in the van right now, but I've got my double neck cigar box. So after playing single necks, I've played like toilet seat guitars called shitar, played of tin course. tin cans, aunt's biscuit tins, all kinds of homemade guitars for years. Now my mate in Missouri said, you need a double neck. 
So like, you know, Jimmy Page had that two neck guitar. And like the tr- six string and the 12 string kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. I've got a three string and a four string. <laughs> <laughs> they've got different tunings, so I play, I'm really trying to get my dexterity so I can use both hands on the necks and I was trying two slides and been uploading videos on YouTube and like my website, like, so people can watch. That's You're so... just discovering what you get, can get up to and do on those things. Have you ever been like surprised to think, and you thought, you looked at it, one of these guitars or could you even call them guitars? I don't know what the exact definition is. But you look at things, this, this is, this is going to be rubbish. But it actually surprised you? Totally, yeah. It's, it's those ones that, that really surprise you. Like, uh, just comes down to what the wood is and how thick it is and how it's connected, if it's screwed on real tight. or Some of them fall apart on stage. There's, it goes either way. They're homemade. They're not like professional guitars. They're homemade instruments and they, anything can happen. You've got to fix them on the fly. I mean, this cigar box double neck I've been playing, it's pretty much like a breadboard. You can tip and chop your vegetables on the back. And, oh, oh, it certainly makes it easy when you're on tour, you know. You've got, right. got the breadboard oh, and you've got the music <laughs> instrument. <Yeah. laughs> makes it easy. Yeah. Uh, mate, it's, this... Sorry? No, no, it's all discovery. It's all creativity. and It's a lot of fun. Uh, do, you, do you put a lot of that kind of stuff on, you know, your, your albums that you made? I know you've you got one here. Yeah. It's Simply Blues 2. Oh, actually, that's on a funny angle. It's Swamp Blues. Oh, Swamp Blues. Yeah, oh, Swamp see, Blues I, I, too. Can't, I can't read any, any You're glasses. Right, man. <laughs> it's on a funny angle there. But, uh, yeah, last year I put out Swamp Blues 1. Well, it's called Swamp Blues 1 now, but at the time it was just Swamp Blues. <laughs> <laughs> and so this week, I mean, not this week, time's flying. This year, I got them back in the studio in Texas where I record and with some incredible musicians, like I, I borrowed John Mayer's drummer, and uh, he plays for Tedeschi Trucks Band guy named JJ Johnson and Glenn Fukunaga who plays with just about every Texas country act and the Dixie Chicks and people and so I got this core group that I work with over there and just we get down to business and record in Yellow Dog Studios to tape machine and, and get this really sort of retro sound so uh, yeah I've had to like kind of meditate for three weeks and smoke pencil shavings and I've come up with a new <laughs> album title yeah. Swamp Blues 2 it, it's a tough one but yeah with, you know when you have a whole bunch of songs left over and you feel like you can still keep going forwards and I think we even refined the Swamp Blues even more this time what's on the agenda for the rest of the year and early into 2020 I mean I've just got non-stop gigs we're glad to be back in Bundy playing Moody's Cafe uh, and this is the first time playing Udi's, but Bundy's been real supportive. The show's almost sold out, and we're just excited to be going up and down Queensland for the next month, and then Tamworth and a bunch of festivals before I go overseas again, and then I have American uh, tour dates in April, May, and, and tons of Aussie festivals in the mid-year as well. So just uh, looking ahead, it's just a jam-packed calendar, and just excited to be playing music always, man. When was the last time you saw a winter? <laughs> it seems like you followed the summers. Yeah, oh, it's going to be freezing in England. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's England, this tour is going to be in March. Yeah, that's kind of like the spring, is wouldn't it? Spring? Winter? Yeah, it's kind of spring, but that's still really late. Winter. Yeah, yeah. No. Good times. <laughs> yeah, I tell, when the Americans ask me, they're like, what's it like where you're from and, you know, near Cairns? I'm from Ariba. Like what's the weather like? I'm like, well, we've got four seasons. Summer, summer, late summer and spring. That makes them laugh. It really is only two. It's dry season, wet season. I, I often say that we've got two two seasons. It's either hot or bloody hot. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Awesome, mate. Well, you brought your guitar, not the uh, not the, the, the double neck breadboard, whatever it was, yeah, uh, sure but the... an actual proper guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can pull the other one out for a photo or something to chuck online if you want, but, um, but yeah, or you can just get on the website and check out those things. Indeed, but indeed. This mate. is a new song. Awesome, mate. You ready for one? Give me a minute. I'll get you just to do just a sound, just make sure you're balancing it. Awesome one, too. I've got a Polish roadie. Check one, two. <laughs> Check one, two. Go when you're ready. I'll close in a bedroom cone. 
stack of dishes in the kitchen sink. We don't normally live like that. You always wrong to touch you. I admire how you work so hard. I don't know how you keep going. We could both sleep for a week and wake up. Thank you very much for your time. Hey, thanks, man. Cheers, Crossy. <laughs>